In this tutorial I'm going over how to do the Jaxi flip reset and the code I'll be using in this video is on screen now and in description. A quick disclaimer, if you use right air roll or go off the right wall, I'm showing examples of me using left air roll and going off the left wall, so just use the opposite of what I say in this video. Before trying this I recommend having really good overall mechanics, being decently well at doing multiple resets and also doing max off resets helps a lot but it's not a must to learn. The first step I'll be going over is going into free play and without the ball just jumping, going upside down and air rolling a bit. There isn't an exact amount to go for but I'll be showing on screen now the air roll I do. The air roll is vital because this makes the motion of what your car does to get the reset. The next step is after you're upside down and have the air roll, you need to front flip cancel. But how the front flip cancel goes depends a lot on your air roll at the start. If you air roll too much this will happen, and if you air roll too little this will happen. You're probably thinking just this flip alone doesn't actually look like a jaxi reset, so I'll quickly explain a few more steps that make it look like one. Something that will make your car more like the motion of the jaxi reset is after you flip cancel you need to gently push your joystick to the side. You don't want to push it completely to the side, but you want to push it to the corner of where you've done your flip cancel. So either bottom left or bottom right depending whether you use air roll left or right and I'll be showing what I use on screen now for any air roll left users. For PC players this step is really easy but for any controller players this step is a lot harder and I've got my controller overlay on the screen if you've got any problems. So I'll go on to the next step now but if you've got any questions about this stage comment below and I'll answer. After you can get the previous step down, now after you do your flip just after air roll a tiny bit, this will make your air roll that you did previously go away and make your flip look a lot cleaner and when you get the reset your car will be completely flat. The reason I said doing the max off at the start would be the best is because it's got the same principle of doing the air roll to make the car more flat. So if you can do the max off, you'll understand this reset a lot more. You don't want to hold air roll for too long, but you don't want to tap it for too short either. And if you hold it too quickly, your car will do a flip instead of doing the flip you actually want. And if you do it too late, your car will have a really unclean movement and it won't look good at all. So you need to hold on to the air roll for the perfect amount of time and you also want to time when you press the air roll so it's as clean as it can be. If you can already do the max off reset this stage won't be too difficult but if you've never tried the max off this would be quite hard. So I've got my controller overlay and showing you what I do so if you can't do it properly just look at that. When you can do the flip consistently without the ball now go into the training pack and try it with the ball. This is definitely the hardest stage of this tutorial. It becomes a lot harder than you think it does with the ball. Same with every mechanic. So make sure you are very patient as it will take a lot of time. But to tell you a few tips to hit it in less time. A lot of people find slow motion help them a lot to hit new mechanics. So make sure to try this if you haven't already. When you get your reset you want to hit a little bit further back on the ball. This is so the ball moves forwards a bit and when you flip you'll go forwards into the ball. The, jack the jacksy flip, whenever you flip you go forwards. So if the ball is right above you, you won't get to the ball. So make sure you hit the ball out in front and flip towards it. It's the same with how high the ball is compared to your car. If the ball is too high up compared to your car, you will get to the ball but not get the reset because you're too much underneath it. So make sure you get to the back of the ball but make sure your car is semi close to your ball compared to the height. If the ball is too low it will just hit your car and if it's too high your car won't touch the ball. So make sure it's the perfect height in between that your car would get the reset with the ball. 
there's nothing else in this tutorial, make sure to sub and like if it helped, and I'll see you next time. If you've got any questions, ask me below.